marketplace gonna go get some groceries and do a little bit shopping I'll see you when we get out bye bye Heading back home. Time to go home and do some cooking. Checking out everything in Cruise Bay. Everything's coming back to life a little bit, I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you back in the kitchen. Bye-bye. Good morning everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my kitchen. This is Sharice and you're in the kitchen with Sharice. So today we're going to be making a Virgin Islands delicacy, a favorite of all households VI. We're going to be making boiled fish in a mayonnaise sauce with green bananas. It's going to be good. It's just so light and it's delicious and it's so good for you. It's healthy, it's got all fresh ingredients. So stay with me today in the kitchen and let's see what we can come up with, okay? So we're gonna be making fish, green bananas, in a mayonnaise sauce. Stay with me. So I'm back from the market and so we'll go over today's ingredients. We have two pieces of red snapper fillet. It's usually best to do it but with our local pot fish or bone in fish just because it'll hold up better in the boiling process. But that's okay, it's gonna be just as delicious. So the rest of our ingredients, we have a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, parsley, adobo. The mayonnaise for the sauce base are two pieces of snapper. We have our sweet peppers. I have some watercress, yellow onion limes, scotch bonnet, and of course my green bananas. So this is going to be a nice and easy recipe as always guys. So let's get to cooking, okay? So the first thing I have here are the green bananas. As you can see, I've cut off the stems and the heads of them, both top and bottom, and I've put a slit. Can you see that? I put a slit in the back of the green bananas and I'm going to add these to the pot with the skin on. I find that boiling them this way it's much easier than peeling them first and putting them in the water. Once it's done boiling you just pull them out of the hot water and you peel the skin it comes right off. So we're going to get that started by putting it into the pot with boiling water. So that's the first step. Okay guys, so the bananas have been added to the boiling water and we'll let that cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. You can check the doneness of it. I usually take a knife and I poke the tip of the knife into it to feel for tenderness. So we're gonna get that underway and start with our vegetables. We'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So all the vegetables have been prepared. The fish has been seasoned on both sides with some adobo, garlic butter, some parsley. I've got some garlic, some scotch bonnet, yellow bells. I've got orange bells, red bells. I've got my greens over here in my watercress, my lemon, and my onion that I'm about to chop up to top our fish once we get it into the pan. So we're ready to go. Start with the fish. Alrighty, the bananas are almost done. They're boiling away. I just gave them a test, so I think they're gonna stay in the pot for about another minute. And over here, I have the water for the fish. I've just added a little bit of black pepper, my sliced garlic, and a touch of olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the fish in right now. We're gonna simmer that for about five minutes and then add in our vegetables, our peppers, our onions, and the rest of our seasonings, okay? So we'll be right back. 
Alrighty, so we have our prepared vegetables right here and we're gonna be working on making the sauce. So I have about four tablespoons of mayo and you can use any brand you want. I just use what I had in my refrigerator. I think it's Hellman's mayonnaise. And you just add a little bit of water to it and you mix it to almost a liquidy but pasty consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll get the rest of our dish going, all right? Stay with me. Look at how good this looks. Our fish just started to bubble up. So we're gonna give that about another minute or so because the fish really doesn't take that long to cook. So we're gonna give it another minute and then we'll go ahead and add in the rest of the toppers. While we're doing that, I'm gonna go to the side and make the mayonnaise sauce. Thank you guys for staying with me. I hope you're enjoying so far. Okay guys, to my water here, I'm just gonna add a little bit of butter just for added flavor. And we'll let that melt down into the water. And we'll be right back to get everything finished. We're almost done. And so I'm back, I've already mixed the mayo so it's got like a creamy kind of texture to it. You can whisk it with a fork if you don't have a um, whisker. You just want to make it into a pretty smooth consistency and you add this in right at the very end. Right at the very end, just before you're about to turn it off, turn off the fish. So we're going to go ahead right now and add our vegetable mix to the fish. Look how pretty that looks. We've got the white onions, the greens of the watercress the red and orange peppers, yellow bells, and our scotch bonnets. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in right now. And now we're gonna add in our vegetables. All right, so our vegetables are in the pan with the fish. They're gonna steam down just a little bit. That look nice guys we're gonna be ready in five more minutes I promise you it's gonna be very good worth the wait so stay with me Bananas are all done. They're ready to go. So once we're ready to plate, we're just going to take however many pieces we want out of there and we're just going to peel the skin back and that's it. Easy and simple. And I'm back and for the final step guys, we're going to go ahead and add in the mayonnaise sauce and just going to pour that in right over top. And we'll spread it around and you'll see the sauce just spread everywhere and then we shut that off and we're done. See guys, that was nice and easy. It's gonna be so delicious. I'll be right back. And we're all done, you guys. Nice and easy. Boiled fish in a mayonnaise sauce with green bananas. We're gonna plate right now and then we'll get ready to eat. Stick around. And here we are guys, our finished meal. Boiled fish, green bananas in a mayonnaise sauce. Mmm. It was quick and easy as all my meals are. It's gonna be delicious. I'm having this for breakfast. Wish you all could enjoy it with me. And for our final touch, we're just going to ladle on some of that beautiful mayonnaise sauce right on there. I like a lot, so I'm going to put about two more. Oh, look at it, you guys. And one more for good measure.
And as always, thank you guys so much for joining me in the kitchen. It's always my pleasure having you. And always remember, if you can be anything in this world, always be kind. Have a great day, everybody. And thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen. I'll see you all next time.